Accessibility is a cornerstone of inclusion. Access to infrastructure, goods, services and information is a precondition for disabled people to fully exercise their rights and participate actively in the community. Approximately 80 million European Union citizens have a disability. With the ageing of our society, the number of people with a disability or those with reduced mobility is growing every day. The Access City Award is an initiative of the European Commission in partnership with the European Disability Forum. It aims to showcase and reward cities with over 50,000 inhabitants which take exemplary initiatives to improve accessibility in the urban environment for persons with disabilities. The award is given to the city that has demonstrably improved accessibility in fundamental aspects of city living with a coherent approach over four key areas of accessibility the built environment and public spaces, transport and related infrastructure, information and communication including new technologies, public facilities and services. Accessibility can be everywhere, also in amusement parks, also in historic places, also in nature trails, also on beaches. So it is not only for the serious environment, like education or employment, no, it is also for the fun places. Because who does not want to go on holiday or to enjoy a weekend together with the family and the friends? So accessibility is also about being able to share experiences with others. For me, accessibility is about disabled people being able to do exactly the same things as everybody else. For me, it's got to be a whole combination of different things, but also it's about the attitude of the city. It's about how much the city wants to change uh, and how much it wants to encourage disabled people to be there. And I, I think attitude is, is really important too. And this year, we have had the participation of 102 cities competing uh, from 23 EU member states that have joined this competition. The special mentions went to Belfast in Northern Ireland for the built environment and public spaces, Malaga in Spain for transport and related infrastructures, Dresden in Germany for information and communication including new technologies, Burgos in Spain for public facilities and services. Thank you, congratulations to Belfast, Burgos, Dresden, Malaga. They really deserve the special mention. Out of the 33 national candidates, the European jury has selected the cities that will receive the third, the second, and the first prize. All three cities have developed comprehensive plans to address accessibility in the four key domains covered by the competition. Very soon now, you will know which of the three cities which, whose representatives are sitting behind of me will be the winners. And Gothenburg, Grenoble and Poznan, are you ready? You are. Yeah. Good. Apart from the winner that will receive uh, the golden trophy, we will have a second and a third prize receiving a silver and a bronze uh, trophy. The third prize goes to Poznan, Poland. <laughs> the second prize goes to Grenoble, France. <laughs> the winner is this year Gothenburg, Sweden. Our goal in the 
near future is that to have every of the 3,000 places and the localities uh, displayed on the homepage, uh, and also to uh, keep on working with the uh, regular housing stock because that has also been a work we've done uh, to to keep on working with making regular housing stock more accessible when it comes to lowering thresholds, uh, making bathrooms accessible, and uh, also make more accessible when it comes to the level, uh, so either with an elevator or at the ground level. That's an existing and, and ongoing work. Our intention is that disability becomes ordinary in such a way that, because it becomes ordinary, disability is a part of our everyday life, and that means that it is present in all the city's political decisions until it gets to the point that when any event is organized, we don't think of creating access for disabled people, because it's already a part of the project. It's a notion completely integrated in our minds. And we wanted so much to participate in this event also, to, to learn from other cities. We read some brochure uh, from Cities Award 2013. I, I suggest the building the network between the cities could receive the reward. Maybe in the future we can do something amazing together. Um, and to encourage, we want to encourage everybody to, to take part in this, co uh, in this competition. So the Access City Award ceremony is a good tool to reward cities that are committed to and act the most for improving accessibility of built environment, transport, ICTs, and public services. Everyone living in Europe today will benefit from accessible cities, not only persons with disabilities. The winning cities today are good examples of what can be done. And the examples which we have seen today uh, show that this is not only a dream, but it is possible and we can create accessibility. <laughs>